What up, internet? Good morning. It's uh, Wednesday morning. It's almost the end of August. It is the end of August. It's August 31st. Um, yeah, so how's everybody doing? I hope you enjoyed my video from yesterday about race and IQ. I got a plentiful supply of comments and uh, messages in my inbox, which I will thank all of you for. Uh, it was it was very nice. Some of the comments and messages were not so nice, but that's okay. It's all love. Um, I wanted to maybe put like a little bit of a different spin on the race and IQ video. I'm going to continue on with that topic because it seems like there's a few people paying attention to it. Um, and I would only ask that the people who are involved in this discussion pass this video along as well to some other people to see what their their take on it is because this is this whole white supremacist uh, race thing argument I've, I've done this all before in the past when I first opened up my YouTube channel and I had a lot of fun with it there's a lot of racist people on YouTube um, the vast majority of them are very stupid but there are also a lot of people out there who are very hateful and I would consider it to be intelligent, so it's a, it's kind of a debacle. I, I I try to decipher through all the all the madness, but now that I've rambled that out, um, here's my question. You guys talk about race and IQ, right? IQ, 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 IQ. All right. What about race and intelligence? All right. Where, what about race and wisdom? All right. Now, wh my question to you, to all you guys, is. Define IQ for me, for all the other dumb people. Define IQ, and then define intelligence, and then define wisdom for me, and then define experience. I want you to define all of those things, and then define how they relate to IQ, you know? And especially, I'm turning down the wrong road, this song's gonna be glaring in my eyes. Um, yeah, sorry. Deal with it on this road. Uh, and to my question for... Uh, I'm going to turn around because this is unacceptable. I can't even see. My question to no offense, but... Um, I noticed you made your little comment to uh, the skeptical heretic about your, you know, him being afraid to debate you and whatnot. Uh, I took a look at your channel and I could tell from your channel that you're really not too uh, social of a person. Uh, I read your little bio. You're a physician. You want to prote protect the the safety of yourself and your children and your family, um, that's great, bud. But here's the deal. You see, if you're going to make comments about stuff on YouTube and you're going to challenge people to debates and you're going to really be open and, and, vo and boisterous and vocal about your opinion, you might want to have the balls to, to like show your face. And one thing that I've noticed, and I'm going to speak directly to you because you remind me of a lot of other people who are on YouTube that I've already had the pleasure of encountering. And this, again, is to no offense, but the physician who doesn't have any uploads, who just likes to troll and comment. I'm sure you are a very smart individual. I'm sure you've read a lot of books. I don't know what kind of a doctor you are, but I'm sure you're intelligent. But I'll ask you the same question that I just asked previously. Define intelligence for me. I read through your blog. I, I read through a little bit of it. Uh, I, I read the long-winded paragraph on how you used a lot of big words to try to discredit the skeptical heretic because, you know, he did step up and, you know, show his face and debate and, you know, do it in an open forum. Whether, her, whether or not he did it in a Tony Soprano-esque way, you know, it's it just the fact of the matter is that f that dude, Fringe Elements, really couldn't debate. He sounded like a whiny bitch. He didn't have his facts straight. I mean, you know, you, you can only blame so much of that on skeptical heretic. You know, it's when you when you enter into a, to a debate with somebody, you're going to debate, right? So no offense, but you seem like, you know, you, you have all this to say, but you're too scared to say it. I, I don't really have very much respect for people like that. I mean, you know, you, you think someone's going to come bomb your house because you have certain opinions. And you know what? To be honest with you, man... If you really do think that, if you think that people are going to come, you know, try to try to get you because of your opinions, you might want to maybe take a look at your opinions. You know? I mean, it's like that whole thing. I mean, if you a lot of you guys that are that are real racist and especially this this pack that I've run into now, you guys are like these intellectual racists, right? I mean, explain to me how if you like think about this world as like a big uh, like community uh, park, right? You have, like, all these different kinds of people playing together in the park, right? 
everybody's having a good time and hanging out you know this guy may be able to jump a little further than the other guy this guy might know a little bit more about science this lady over here is a really good you know uh studier of weather or she knows uh the you know the patterns of the stars this guy over here is a master chef like you have all of these different people with different things going on together all playing together in this big collective sandbox we call earth right and then you have this group of people and I'm not going to label race on any of the of, of you guys because I'm not going to label race label anybody. But how is it intelligent, in any fucking way, shape, or form, to go around in on the planet amongst all the other people that you're you're sharing space with, going, "I'm the smartest. I'm the smartest. You're all stupid. I'm white. I'm the best." Like that's what it seems like you guys are doing, and and the mo majority of you guys are too fucking scared to even show your face because you know what you're saying is just hateful. That's really all it is. You can go around and around and around and read all of these books and studies and shit, you know, about about genetics and and what this might prove or that might prove. Our our, our species is ever evolving. Your, your science that you're reading is is old. It's been old. I mean, we're evolving as a species right now. There are things going on that you don't know about, that none of us know about. That's a fact. You guys that, that spend so much time being hateful, all you're doing is that. You're being hateful and you're drawing dividing lines between people who would probably be friends. You guys are all probably shut-ins. You have no other friends other than the people who you deem as being safe to surround yourself with. It's just sad to me. It's just sad. So that's my long-winded response to, to everyone involved. I'm not going to do an RA. I'm just going to do race, IQ, intelligence. And I'm going to ask you guys to spread the video around to whoever you think might be interested in hearing it. I'm very interested to hear what your definitions of intelligence, wisdom, and all that stuff are and how it relates to race and IQ. And, you know, I mean, just to, as a closing a closing point, you know, <laughs> if, you're, if you're sitting in... In the middle of uh, you know the Australian desert, right? And you got like 16 math books around you, and you can solve fucking any math equation in the world. And you have some other guy next to you who's dumb as a box of rocks, but he could fucking find water in the desert, and you can't. Who's the fucking dumb one then? So I don't know. True 101 story. Rate, comment, subscribe. That's pretty much all I got, people. Enjoy your day. Try not to be so damn negative. Peace.